Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to model a complex shape in Maya. This is part 2. Stay tuned. Okay, now we model a complex shape in Maya 2017. So this is part 2. So here is an, our reference image. So you will able to see here. So we want to model this complex shape. So many of the veranda you will able to see in lot of grills. So this shape. So I have another reference image in very close. So over here. So now we need to model this one. So go to Maya. Ok, go to create panel, polygon primitives, disable the interactive creation. So that means when we click on poly cylinder, it will automatically create it in center of grid. Press R and scale little bit big and also in Y like this. So go to poly cylinder inputs. I only want subdivision access to 8. So I only want 8 subdivisions and also I need uh, subdivision height to 10 so I want to scale little bit in Y so now I doesn't want my top and bottom face so right click and choose vertex so select the mid vertex and shift select the center vertex press ctrl F11 in keyboard so that means the vertex will be convert as a face now press delete in keyboard now you need to select the center vertex so right click and choose vertex so I select all the center vertex over here so now press B in keyboard so that means it will be soft selection so hold B in keyboard and expand the soft selection up to full uh, polygons you need to cover the full polygons hold B in keyboard and middle mouse click and drag to cover the entire polygon so now go to top view so now I need to scale in Z so like this so I want to scale in Z and also scale in X so now go to perspective so now you able to see our object look like this now press B in keyboard again so that means it will release our soft selection so now I need to convert my edge to curve so double click on this edge go to modify convert and choose poly edge to curve option box here you need to choose best gauss and choose 3 cubic and click convert so you need to do on all other edge so double click on this edge go to modify convert poly edge to curve so you need to do on all other edge so double click on this edge press G in keyboard to repeat the last step so double click on this edge and press G double click on this edge press G so double click on this edge and press G double click on this edge and press G so double click on this edge and press G so I doesn't want my polygon anymore so I will select my polygon and press delete in keyboard so now you got like this okay but see our reference image it will be twisted so you need to select the control vertex so I will select this go right click and choose control vertex so you need to do on all other curves so right click and choose control vertex right click and choose control vertex so you need to do separately so don't uh, select shift or control in keyboard you just right click and choose control vertex so right click and choose control vertex right click and choose control vertex control vertex and control vertex so now I need to select my top control vertex over here now press B in keyboard so that means it will be a soft selection 
hold B in keyboard and use middle mouse click and drag to cover the whole entire control vertex over here so like this so now press E in keyboard so that means it will be have rotate option you need to rotate in Y so now you able to see our curve will be twisted like this so as we see in our reference image so like this so now press B in keyboard to release our soft selection so now you need to do right click and choose object mode you need to do on all other object each and every object separately so right click and choose object mode object mode object mode object mode so right click and choose object mode so now we need to convert this curve as a mesh using go to curves and click on nodes circle so and press w in keyboard i want to move on this side so i need go to node circle inputs and give section division to 12 so right click and choose control vertex so select all four control vertex over here so sorry five and press r in keyboard you need to scale in z so select this five control vertex and scale in x so select this five and scale in z and select this file and scale in X so it will looks like and Q so right click and choose object mode so now select this control sorry select this curve and shift select this curve and go to surface and choose extrude option box here you need to choose I will reset my settings you need to choose Q at path component and choose profile normal as a nerves now click on extrude so that means our object will be extrude so but it will looks like a black so because of go to lighting and in normal it will be set as two side lighting on so if you want to check the normals is perfectly on or off so you need to hide this one so i will uncheck this one so that means you will able to see our normals is reversed so select this nodes object go to surfaces and choose reverse direction so that means it will be our lighting will be reverse so you need to do on all other curves so select this curve and shift select this curve go to surface and choose extrude option box so you need to choose all these things and choose extrude so now our surface is reverse so when the nodes object selected go to surface and choose reverse direction so select this object shift select this object and go to surface and choose extrude so i need to reverse so i will select this one and shift select this one go to surface and choose extrude and surface and choose reverse direction so select this one and shift select this one and go to surface extrude surface reverse direction select this one shift select this one go to surface and choose extrude now select this one and go to surface and choose reverse direction select this one and shift select this one go to surface extrude surface reverse direction select this one and shift select this one go to surface and choose extrude surface and choose reverse direction okay now you able to see our perfect object but it's little bit thick so when we compare this reference image so i will select my sir, node circle over here and press R and scale down so that means our history will be present on all other curves so that means when I scale this one all of the other object will be scaled so like this so now go to I will select all the object go to edit delete by type and choose history so our history will be gone so now our object will be perfect 
so now i need to model like this so i will open my reference image over here so i want to do like this so it's very easy go to window and choose outliner then select all the nodes go over here and press delete in keyboard so now i will select all the object extrude surface and press g to group this object so i want to rename this group as center 01 so now i want to duplicate this one so in the group object selected press ctrl d in keyboard so i want to move in up so before that i will delete this center too so i want to create a polygon so poly cylinder and press r and scale like this and scale in y and move in y and press r and scale in it so like this and press w i want to move in y so now I need to increase my subdivisions to high. So to come to 30. So I want to bevel this edge. So double click on this edge. Shift to double click on this edge. Shift right click and choose bevel edge. So I need to bevel the to 0 0.1 and segment to 2. So right click and choose object mode. So now I select this object and press ctrl d in keyboard so that means it will duplicate so i want to move in down so select this two object and use middle mouse click and drag so that means it will, our two objects will be go inside of this group so now you need to select the center object and press ctrl d in keyboard i want to move in y so now I need to make a polycube. Click on polycube and press R and scale B and scale in Y. So now press W. I want to move in Y. So like this, press R and scale down. So right click and choose vertex so i will select this one and move in y so right click and choose object mode so right click and choose all the edge and shift right click and choose bevel edge so i need to bevel very tiny bit so i will give 0 0.1 and give segments to 2 so right click and choose object mode so i need to duplicate this one and press ctrl d to duplicate i want to move in y so do same thing on top press ctrl d i want to move in y so now you need to select all the object in outliner press ctrl g to group again so this one is the grill zero one so now when the grill 01 selected press ctrl d in keyboard so to duplicate so i want to move on this side now press shift d in keyboard to take and multiple duplicates so like this so now you need to duplicate on this side so in the last group selected press ctrl d and duplicate on this side now press shift d in keyboard so i want to move in again press shift d shift d so and shift d like this so now i select all the object all the group object on the side now press ctrl d in keyboard i want to move on the side go to top view and place in top view to make it right so like this so now go to and choose poly q and move over here and press r and scale big and scale in 
X and scale in Z and press W I will move in X go to perspective press R and scale in Y and press W I want to move over here so like this so right click and choose vertex so I will select this one and move in Z so I want to scale little bit like this so right click and choose edge mode so I will select all the edge shift right click and choose bevel edge so I will reduce my fraction amount to 0 0.2 and segment to 2 so right click and choose object mode so now I need to make this grill over here so using CV code to go to top view go to create panel course go tool and choose CV code tool option box here you need to choose one linear so press 4 in keyboard so I want to draw from here to here to here and click on here and press enter so go to perspective press W I want to move in Y and press 5 in keyboard so now you are able to see so I need to create the thickness so go to course and surface and click on no circle so I want to move on this side and press R and scale B so select this curve and shift select this curve and go to surface and choose extrude so now our object will be extrude I need to make and reverse so in the object selected go to surface and choose reverse direction so I need to scale my object so select this curve and press R in keyboard so that means it will scale perfect so that's it so this is the way to create this complex shape over here so i hope you like it i see you on part 3 click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model a complex shape in maya part 1